Hey guys, it's Miss Giblin. Today we're going to speak about the area model of multiplication. This is a really great strategy where you can use what you know about area to help you solve harder multiplication problems. We're going to use that formula of length times width and we're going to break down a rectangle into smaller parts. Even more so, we're going to use place value. We're going to use expanded form to help us take really big numbers and break them down into easier ones. So let's look at an example. So we all know that killer fact, 9 times 12. I can never remember what it is. Today, we're going to see how we can take a fact that we don't know or a problem and break it down to easier parts. We know that area is equal to length times width. So 9 times 12 will give us the area of this rectangle. I'm not so sure what 9 times 12 is, so I'm going to break this 12 apart into two add-ins. Remember, add-ins are two numbers that you can add together to get a sum. So I'm going to use place value, and when I look at this 12, I know that there's one 10 and that there's two ones. So I'm going to break it up into 10 plus 2. So now I've broken this rectangle into two parts, two smaller rectangles. I can see if I added those two parts together, I'd still get my original rectangle. And I broke up my 12 into two add-ins, 10 plus 2. Now I'm going to solve each part individually. So first I'm going to multiply the length and width of this smaller rectangle. 9 times 10 is 90. So this part of our larger rectangle is 90. Next, I'm going to find the rest of the rectangle, this part here. I still have the length of 9, but this part only has a width of 2. So I'm going to do 9 times 2, which is 18. The area of this smaller rectangle is 18. So we call these two products, the two parts or smaller areas, our partial areas or our partial products. We're going to add our partial products together. So 90 is one of our products, 18 is our other product, the area of the smaller rectangle. We're going to add them together to get our sum of 108. So the area of the whole rectangle, excuse me, is 108. So we can now say our area is 108, or 9 times 12 equals 108. We can use this same strategy to solve even more complex problems. So let's look at a harder problem. 8 times 4,567. What? What would the area of this rectangle be? I have no idea. Do not worry. We can use the same strategy. We can break down this 4,567 into expanded form. So when I break it down into expanded form, I know that there are 4,000, there are five hundredths, there are six tens, and there are seven ones. So I'm going to put that on the top of my rectangle. My other factor goes on the other side. Now I'm going to solve for the partial products, these smaller rectangles. What would eight times each of these parts be? and then add them all together. So I start with my first one. 8 times 4,000 equals 32,000. We can use the 10 trick when we're doing this. 8 times 4 is 32, and then add your three zeros, or move it three place values. Next, I move to the hundreds. 8 times 500 equals 4,000. The area of this part of the rectangle is 4,000. Moving on, 8 times our tens, 8 times 60. 8 times 60 is 480. And finally, I move to the ones. 8 times 7 is 56. So now I have 4 partial products. My next step is going to be to add them together. 
So I look at my partial products and I'm going to add them together on the side. This is not something I want to do in my head. I want to make sure that I line up all the place values neatly. Sometimes I even like to use graph paper. So I make sure that I'm lining up each of my place values one on top of the other. So you can see I added my partial products on the side. I took care to line up my zeros and lining up the place value. Usually this is where we make mistakes if we're not careful in lining up our place values. When I add them together, I find that my product of 8 times 4,567 is equal to 36,536. So you can see that I took this large multiplication problem and I broke it down into smaller parts by place value, making it much easier and much more manageable. So the answer of 8 times 4,567 is 36,536. So in conclusion, the area model of multiplication Let's us use the area formula of a rectangle, which is length times width, to take a huge multiplication problem and break it down into easier parts. You can even use this to multiply two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. You would just break apart each side into smaller parts. If you want to learn this, come and see me on the carpet. See you later.